Dale Evans was a standout star in classic Hollywood, known for her mix of singing, acting, and songwriting. She was different from other stars of her time because she was good at many things. Her work with Roy Rogers in movies and in real life made her even more popular. What made her really special was how she connected with people through different types of media, turning her into a well-known figure beyond just movies. She often played strong and independent characters, which made her stand out and made people really like her. Now, we want to hear from you about your favorite memory or personal experience with Dale Evans. Share your stories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we share more interesting, surprising, and emotional stories about this well-loved figure in the entertainment industry. Dale Evans was an important person in the world of movies and music. She wasn't just good at acting, singing, and writing songs, but she also changed how women were seen in the media during her time. Working with Roy Rogers, she became very popular. She had a special way of connecting with people through her work. In a time when women in movies often had limited roles, Dale Evans played characters that were strong and independent. This was really different and encouraging for many women. Her roles were not only for fun, but also showed women as strong and able to do things on their own. Off the screen, she was also a great example to others. Her life, with its ups and downs, touched many people. She showed courage and kindness, making her more than just an actress, but someone people loved and respected. She managed to balance her successful career with her personal life, which was impressive. Even now, she continues to encourage new generations. Through her movies, music, and life stories, she remains a symbol of strength, talent, and charm. She showed Wood that you can be successful in different areas of life and work. Her influence goes beyond her own time, making her an important figure in the entertainment world. To sum up, Dale Evans was more than a famous person. She was a trailblazer who changed how women were seen in the entertainment industry, and her impact is still there today. Her story is about more than being famous. It's about changing things and inspiring others. She is someone who should be remembered and celebrated for her work in entertainment and culture. She was very successful in her career, but also had a lot of personal problems, including dealing with substance abuse and addiction. These issues are big and can happen to anyone, no matter how famous or successful they are. Her struggles with these problems show the big challenges people faced in society at that time. It's really hard to keep up a public image while also having personal issues, and she experienced this. She didn't just struggle with addiction, she also went through other tough times in her life. Like many people, she had both good and bad moments, which included dealing with loss and complicated relationships. These hard times made her a deeper person and artist. They helped shape her views and made her work feel real and something people could relate to. Her journey through these hard times also shows how important it is to have support and understanding when facing life's challenges. Her ability to get past these difficulties and still inspire others shows how strong and determined she was. In summary, she is known for her achievements in entertainment, but it's also important to see the personal struggles she went through. Her battle with substance abuse, addiction, and other difficulties are a big part of her story. They show her resilience and depth as a human. These parts of her life teach us about perseverance and the importance of facing challenges with bravery and hope. Dale Evans, together with her fourth husband Roy Rogers, was a guest on The Muppet Show in 1976. They were one of only three married pairs to be on the show, the others being Chris Christopherson with Rita Coolidge and Robert Shields with Lauren Yarnell Jansen. This show would how versatile and popular they were in the entertainment world. Her film career started with the role of Hazel, a friend of Connie's at a soda fountain in Orchestra Wives. This was the beginning of her successful journey in movies. In recognition of her work in the entertainment industry, she was honored at the 10th Annual Topaz Awards in Dallas on September 22, 1996. The Women in Film Dollars group gave her this special award. Her stepdaughter, Cheryl Rogers Barnett, accepted the award on her behalf. This award was a big honor and recognized her as a trailblazing woman in film and TV. Her career in Hollywood, with various roles and appearances, showed her ability to adapt and succeed in different areas of entertainment. From her first movie to her TV appearances and getting honored for her work, she showed great flexibility and strength in her career. To sum up, her journey in the entertainment industry, from her first movie role to receiving important awards and making memorable TV appearances, 
highlights her ability to change and succeed in a constantly changing industry. Her influence in film and TV is still remembered and valued. In 1976, she and her husband Roy Rogers were inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. This was a significant recognition of their contributions to Western entertainment. Their joint induction symbolized their collective influence and popularity in the genre. At a young age, she faced the challenges of early motherhood. At 15, she gave birth to her first child, a son named Thomas Frederick Fox, on November 28, 1927. The child's father was her then-husband, Thomas Fox. Her son lived a long life, passing away in 2012 due to congestive heart failure at the age of 83. An interesting aspect of her public persona was her horse, Buttermilk. This horse became almost as famous as she was and was a part of her and Roger's Western image. Additionally, she was the creative mind behind the song Happy Trails. This song, which she wrote, became a signature theme for her and Roy Rogers, further cementing their status as Western icons. This theme song was not just a melody, but a representation of their on-screen and off-screen partnership resonating with fans across generations. Her life and career, marked by such notable achievements and personal experiences, reflect a journey that was both challenging and inspiring. Her early motherhood, creative talents, and recognition in Western performance art highlight her resilience and adaptability in a changing entertainment landscape. In the movie Aha San Antone, she showcased her talent by writing one of the songs. This skill in making music was just part of her wide range of abilities in the entertainment world. Working with her husband, Roy Rogers, who was once the lead singer of the Sons of Pioneers, she brought a special mix of music and movies to her projects. She was honored for her work in both radio and television, getting two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. These stars, found on Hollywood Boulevard and Vine Street, are a recognition of her significant role in these fields. Her personal life had its highs and lows. She and Roy Rogers adopted a son, John David Rogers, in 1946. Sadly, they lost him in 1965 when he was still young, showing the personal hardships she went through while achieving professional success. In short, her life and career were a mix of artistic skill, personal strength, and public acknowledgement. Her work in movies and music, along with her ability to connect with people, made her a well-remembered figure in show business. The joys and challenges in her life gave her a relatable image to the public. She had a big heart, especially for kids. In 1955, she added a sixth child to her family, a daughter named Deborah Lee Debbie Rogers. Debbie was born in Korea and was the daughter of her and her late husband, Roy Rogers. Sadly, Debbie passed away at just nine years old in a bus crash. She was coming back from a church trip to Mexico when it happened. This was a very sad and tough time for her. In her work, she was well known for her role in the Roy Rogers show. In the show, she acted and helped create a fun and adventurous Western world. She played a character with her own name, which became very famous because of the show. The show also had Roy Rogers' horse, Trigger, and his German Shepherd, Bullet. She rode a horse named Buttermilk. Pat Brady, another character in the show, drove a Jeep named Nellie Bell, which was a cool part of the show. This show was not just fun to watch, but also became a big part of TV history. She didn't just act in her own show. She and her husband also appeared on other TV shows. One important appearance was on The Muppet Show, where they were one of the few married couples featured. This appearance put her alongside other famous couples like Chris Christopherson and Rita Coolidge and Robert Shields and Lauren Yarnell Jansen. The show also had other family guests like Candace Bergen with her dad Edgar Bergen and Loretta Lynn with her sister Crystal Gale. These appearances show what how versatile she was and how she could connect with different kinds of viewers. Her life story is about overcoming tough times, showing kindness and being flexible in her career. From being a mom to her famous roles in Western TV shows, she handled life's ups and downs with courage and strength. Her story is inspiring and shows the importance of never giving up and the lasting impact of real talent and personality.